Hello there guys, and welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider 1. We're going to play the Tomb of Qualipec today. Now, 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 this level's pretty short, once you know what you're doing. I mean, the first time going through a level, you're always going to take your time. You're always going to be like, what the hell, where the bloody hell am I going? But really, it's not that bad once you know about it. Oh, fuck. I, I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why I'd, I said, oh, fuck. <laughs> and that used to be scary when I was a kid. <laughs> Look how slow it moved. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it's funny because I, I remember spending ages just in this room. I'm just like, um, what am I meant to be doing? But this lever it looked very camouflage back then. It doesn't look so now. Everything doesn't look so camouflage. Oh shit, I forgot about these raptors. Jesus, they come out of nowhere. What are you doing? They've escaped the park of Jurassic Park. I mean, what? I mean, Lost Valley. Okay, how have I not lost any health? Okay, I, I shouldn't have said that. I should have. I should have appreciated what I've got. <laughs> God damn it! I was just like, um, I'm pretty sure they're right next to me, attacking me. Like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure I'm not losing any health? And then I lost health. Of course. Typical me, typical me. Okay, so I'm not using any medikits, as I said in the last part, so let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> okay, so I've got to be careful every time I lose health or any time an enemy comes out. Alright, let's go straight forward, shall we? Doesn't matter which way you go first, which I do like. That's very good. Um, yeah, so there's three routes you can go to, and we have to unlock three doors in each way it has a specific certain path and it's pretty awesome and that's a full of a lever dearie me and there's dogs in here I remember god I'm gonna lose oh wow I killed it already what the hell super speed kills going on here okay I, I could have done a better job of dodging them but eh well can't do anything about it <laughs> I just looked like I killed the dog right up here I feel sorry for it didn't even didn't even move from its spot anyway um this is one of the levels I prefer the original than to the anniversary remake. I mean, I appreciate anniversary's version of this, but I just, I just love the colors in this level. It's so pretty, it's so so much pink, man. So, so fab. It, it it's very beautiful to look at, and it's very colorful for its time, and it looks very nice. The colors look nice, and I'd love to go in a tomb like this. Probably not alone though, because I bloody shit myself. Right, <laughs> the more you know. Okay, now I'm actually going to give a shout out to someone because I've been meaning to give this person a shout out for quite some time but I never really got around to it and his name is Daryl Baxter, yes, he's he's been a long time supporter of mine and I really do like to thank him for watching my videos for so long, if you didn't know I've been doing this for quite a while and yeah, <laughs> um, so he basically owns a blog well, he makes a blog and he likes to post about stuff, whether it's like his retro gaming life, like his previous games that meant so much to him, and just stuff in general. He, he's a he's a blogger. He's pretty good at what he does. He blogs regularly, and he's a great writer, probably what I've seen. And the reason why I'm giving him a shout out is because he did an interview with Nathan McCree, which you can check out in the link in the description. I highly, highly recommend this because it is so goddamn interesting. And not only did Daryl Baxter, the lovely guy, shouted me out during the interview, I don't know if he said my username to Nathan McCree, I'm not so sure about that, but I, I appreciate that you did. <laughs> He gave me a mention in the interview, like, what I read from anyway, and that, that's very nice of him, thank you very much. And, oh, this music. Just when we're talking about Nathan McCree as well, it's beautiful. There's a lot of interesting questions he asked, and it's so interesting, like, the fact that, I, I didn't know about this, but he basically did this score, this whole entire soundtrack of this game, in four weeks' time. He had to rush it. He had to rush this amazing soundtrack that we all know and bloody love. That, that just shows how talented Nathan McCree actually is. And Tomb Raider 2 and 3, he had more time on that, of course. And it's just interesting that this game was a rushed soundtrack. Holy mother of penis. That is amazing. <laughs> and there's just other stuff on there. He asked, like, 
his time in core design. I mean, I think we all want it to be like, oh, I wonder what it's like to work at core design and all that stuff. To be honest, it sounds like fucking hell. <laughs> I don't know. I think he mentioned, like, one of his workmates, like, sleeping there for the entire week. He didn't go home at all. Holy mother. They, they, they spent hours working on these games. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but, yeah. It, yeah, Daryl Baxter asked him some really interesting questions and stuff about his composing life in general. It just seems like he's been through a tough life. I'm going to have to give him props for that. And he didn't want to do the fourth game. <laughs> because Tomb Raider 3 was just so hard as well to do, so I, I, I don't blame him, and I really do appreciate that, that he, you know, he stops when he stops, and, you know, he did all his work on the other three games, and he gives his general opinions on um, what he thinks of the future soundtracks, and it's very interesting, to say the least, and you should highly check out the interview, it's, it's pretty awesome, and you should check out Daryl Baxter's blog in general, because he is a generally nice guy, and he's been supporting me for quite some time. So yeah, um, okay, uh, <laughs> while I'm storming through my topic, um, I'd just like to say this section in particular takes, it took ages for me to figure this out, it's confusing because, like, I don't know if it's just for me, like, like for instance, like, this bit here looks exactly the same as to what it is over there, and I just get so confused every time. <laughs> oh wait, I can't jump up there. Crap. Okay, so all we need to do now, seeing as we moved that block over there, we're basically trying to get over there, and that switch we just un did, switch we just did, English, Nathan, well done. <laughs> it moved that over there, so all we need to do is move this back forward, I guess, and... The thing is, I get so confused, I'm like, where do... You know, <laughs> this is probably the hardest bit of the level, this bit right here. But, once you know what you're doing, it's okay. And there we go. See, it looks the exact same. Like, the area... I think they did that on purpose, really. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, while we're doing this, I'd like to mention that I will be doing co-commentaries on this Let's Play. And if you don't know what a co commentary is it's basically just adding someone else along with the ride they're not playing the game for me don't <laughs> that would be amazing if that ever happened uh, but basically they're just co commentating with me and it just adds more to the let's play and adds more laughs and it's just more a good time more chats chitty chat chat and uh, we just, oh jesus did you guys hear that raptor screaming bloody hell Alright, I haven't saved yet, which is... I know a good place to save, but... Just don't die, Nathan. Don't die. Don't die. <gasps> oh. oh my god. I thought I died then. I thought that was it. I thought I had to restart the whole entire level again. Okay, so there's raptors now. I think this is where I came from. I'm not entirely sure. Holy crap, if they come around this corner... Oh! Um... Okay, this is not where I'm meant to be going. Whoopsie daisy. I think it was this way. Yeah, I'm getting confused now. Oh dear. <laughs> I think we entered this place in here. Yeah, here we go. Now there's going to be raptors in here. Oh Jesus, he's screaming. All right. Just just shoot, even though he's not there yet. Wait, what? The soundtrack's playing again. I triggered it again. Oh my god, beautiful. Wait, what? 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 Okay, so I triggered it there, and then when I walk backwards, it it stops it. <laughs> okay. All right, we're moving on to this one, <laughs> which is actually the easiest of the whole lot. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad I did first two out of the way. I don't know, you just move a block and that's about it. No big deal. Although there is spikes in here, so I ain't saved at all. That's interesting. I don't know if the actual game, like, turns off the music. I don't know, I don't know. I think that's a PC bug. Most likely. Seeing as I patched the music into play, so I'm, I'm happy that they do play in Pacific areas. They're supposed to. So, 
stop complaining, you lose. Whoa. Jesus Christ. When Whenever it zooms into Lara's tits, like... Yeah, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Just cut my tongue. It's probably best to do that. Alright. Whenever the camera just focuses so close to a tit, I just feel like my eyes are going to be poked out, like, poked out from the inside of my head and just, like, oh, Jesus Christ. You know what Lara's tits would be good as? You know, like, a fucking kebab. Just put the meat on the side of her boobs and just have a Lara Croft boob kebab. Sounds delicious. Oh, wait. What am I doing? It's this way. In Anniversary, they, you go that way, but in this game, it opens these three doors this way. Interesting, interesting. Oh shit, there's traps in here. I forgot about this! <gasps> but it's okay. Oh my god, I'm dodging them like a boss. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is where our first secret lies. A very hidden secret. I would have never have got this if it wasn't for help online. Like, how, how are you supposed to find that out? Like, seriously. Unless you're really, really desperate for a secret. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh my god, I thought I fell off the edge then. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this for intuition. Like, the certain sides you have to drop here. There's two secrets in one in this room, in case you did not know, and you have to drop. And it's very. You have to be very careful. Oh, there we go. Did it. So yeah, there's, that's weird that, it's a bit weird that there's two secrets there. Uh, although you could miss this entirely because it's hidden under this block and there's so many spikes here. But that is a hard secret to get, both of them. So, props. They are very well hidden. <laughs> there's three secrets in this level in case you're wondering, and the last one's at the very end of the level. I'm worried about this. Poo. It's okay, I haven't really lost a lot of health actually. Doing well, doing well, doing well. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't press the keyboard shortcuts because I do press the keyboard shortcut. If you guys did not know this, you can like you know press F4, or F5 to load the game or save the game. It just saves a lot of spe time, you know, and because you, you just have to go into inventory all the time and stuff like that. I love this camera angle. I love it. Okay, before I finish my subject, um, this is a little Easter egg here. Um. How scary is that? I hate that noise. It scared so much of me when I was a kid. But you can't shoot anyone else. That's the only one you can shoot. And they did a little Easter egg in Anniversary as well in the particular cutscene. <laughs> it's awesome. It's weird, but it's awesome. I don't have to save here or not. Uh, let's just go for it like a boss. Oh, I love this music. It's so good. Do, 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 do. What was I talking about before? I can't even remember. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm so good at topics. Do, 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 do. God damn it, I was enjoying the music too much. Okay, don't run to the street. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Fucking love this music. Do, do. Get in this pool quickly for the final, the fucking secret, and I'm getting shot at. Great. Um, uh, I could have done that better. That's what that's what happens when I enjoy the music too much. I die. That's a that's a good this is good this is good advice in life. If you're listening to music and you're not you know, too mo too loud while walking down the street, you might die. If you're listening to music too loud in the car, you may die. What the hell? This got really dark so fast. What the bloody Nora? Okay, so that's all three secrets. Um, um, yeah, just look at my health. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do this again because <laughs> I hope see me lasting long with Larson. Yes, this is Larson, which we was introduced with in the intro of the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was, this was great. This is a great start. Uh, I did save before picking up the ski on. And I'm gonna save again. <laughs> he only shot at me once this time, so I don't think that's bad to see. Look at my health, big difference. Um, yeah, why did I want to do a pistol run again? <laughs> 
Anyway, let's let's try. Let's try. There's no fun in trying, man. Come on. I forgot what I was talking about when I before I entered the ski on like seriously, I cannot remember. I cannot remember. I forgot to see he's always right there. He's always right there. Alright, just keep going behind him. Kinky. That's a that's a tick that's a tip for Tomb Raider. Yes! Oh my god, look at my health. Jesus Christ, I actually did it. Oh my well, god. You have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! <laughs> you ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natler. Let me get the gun! <laughs> Thank you. I will. I love... It, it looks like he just jumped to Lara. It, it's so funny, his arms are like down on the... F uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> it's a great cutscene, like, really good. Tells you what's going on in the story, and Lara's going to be going to Natla Technologies to search for PR. Okay, so there was Tomb of Qualipec. And, yeah. Three out of three secrets, 13 minutes. Yeah, it, wow, really? 13? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, that was a very short level, once you know what you're doing at least, and yeah, did pretty well on the last and almost, almost got me killed, almost. Yeah, the, t the trick is to just keep being behind him because that way he doesn't aim at you when you're behind him, and you can do a lot of things behind him. But anyway, we're not talking about that. This is the end of Tomb of Qualipac and the pro levels in general, and I'm going to have a co-commentator with me in St. Francis Folly. So, hope you're all looking forward to that, and I'll see you whenever.